Hi guys, coming at you with a, another update. So I did have my third chemo. I had to skip a week, but then I had it. Um, this past Monday, I actually had my fourth chemo, um, and that was on the 30th, 31st, whichever Monday that was. Um, and so far, I'm doing uh, pretty well. It is Thursday of the week that I had my chemo, and I'm doing pretty well. I've been getting out and doing stuff, um, so that's that's really good. Um, I've been losing a little bit more hair, but not not like too much. My mom thinks my hair is growing. I'm not exactly sure if it is growing, but I thought I don't know. See, I don't know if it's growing, and I keep on. Whenever I take a shower or something, some hair comes out. So I don't know how that's working. Um, but I got more gifts in the mail and I went to an event. And so I thought I would just show you the gifts that I've been getting in the mail. Again, the support. Um, I'm looking for... Um, some support around the area that I, I live in and I did join a support group I have two mentors online mentors then a support group and I um, signed up for some more support groups online also just to um, have some support <laughs> Okay, so the first thing is when I went to my third, third, fourth chemo, I, uh, I had an, a, uh, activity book, and, uh, my chemo nurse, Mike, uh, I was doing an activity book, and he's like, hey, do you want another activity book? I'm like, okay, sure. And so he gave me this little bag, and in the bag was this kitty activity book. And it came with some crayons and a pack of pencils. So that was nice. And before I left chemo, um, people knit. Uh, blankets and hats and there's donations a little cart and so I always go by the cart and see what donations and stuff and uh, I found this little slow blanket that somebody knitted on the cart so I thought that was awesome then in the mail I got a scarf from courage for the soul and I will try and remember to link every single thing that I list, but you know how I am. So it is just a nice little scarf. This is how it looks. It is nice coloring. And I liked it. Um, I saw a picture on Instagram, I think it was. Either Facebook or Instagram where uh, the founder took a picture of all the scarves that she was sending out. So I was guessing which scarf that I was going to get. And I got this scarf. And... Uh, I know they asked what kind of colors you like and everything, and um, so I told her what kind of colors I liked, and I said like a pink and a teal and all this kind of stuff, and so I think she did pretty good. And so here's some information, and then a letter, and then I believe this is 
her story, the founder story, and then it shows different ways to tie your headscarf. So I found that was cool. And then in the mail, I got a card from Compassion, uh, yeah, Compassion That Compels. So that's nice. And a card from my friend Sharon. She came to visit me. And so a nice little card. And then a card from my friend Ashley. And then I got this in the mail from Stronghold Ministry. And this pastor, I believe it is, uh, had his own cancer battle. And because of his cancer battle, he wanted to give support to other cancer patients. And so they have a cancer in a support ministry. And I think they said that this is on Facebook that they do this. And so some information about things. And then a $15 subway card, which I thought was awesome. Um, what is in the basket. And then books in his grip. Journey with God through suffering. Abiding through the shadows. My stronghold. Yeah. So, all of these books. And then... A tote bag. And two bracelets. And on here, oh, this, well, this one says, this wrist bracelet has in his grip. So when you wear it, it indents on your arm in his grip. I thought that was interesting. And then I got this and I, I went on this site and I was looking and um, I don't know exactly who signed me up for this because I didn't sign myself up for this. I was just looking and I asked um, about information about uh, their company. And so I got the Breast Cancer Charities of America. I go pink. Now, I'm not exactly sure how I got this. Um, because all I asked was for some information because somebody else asked me about, um, breast cancer, um, because it was October. And I said, well, I'll look into some stuff and ask around. And then I got this and I was like, well, I don't, I don't have breast cancer. I have Hodgkin's lymphoma. But I just wanted information, but they sent me a whole bag full of stuff, and I'm like, okay, well, I'm going to share it. And so I got all of this paperwork, and it's asking about, um, you share your story, and then survivor release form, and more paper. And creating wellness, a book, and a postcard, and this is some more information. And it came in this folder. And then, I guess this was in here. 
crossword. And mattifying treatment for skin. A uh, Burt's Bees white tea towelettes. Burt's Bees Peppermint Foot Lotion. Burt's Bees Lip Balm Mango Butter. What is this? Uh, Sally Girl Eyeshadow in Coffee. coffee and there's a three pack in here so a three pack and uh, black brown eyeliner from BFC uh, be chic lip liner in rows and Burt's Bees Grapefruit Lip Shimmer and then like I said a tote bag so I'm not exactly sure how I know I went on this site but um I didn't fill out for a bag I just asked for some paperwork and they sent me this so I don't know I don't know, but I'm very happy that they sent this. I'll, you know, try this stuff out and share it with people. So, that's fine. And then, there was an event at uh, a local Sephora that's close to the cancer center that I go to have my chemo. And they had an event, and it was Sephora Stands. And uh, it was a free beauty class at Sephora and I'm like okay well I'll, I'll try it out so when I went there we did uh, face masks and we did um, uh, bronzer and highlighter and eyeshadow um, mascara lips we we did a, a beauty class and so I got a little bottle of water I don't know why I kept, uh oh, I don't know why I kept that, but I thought I should share that in the video. And then after class, they gave us this little bag. And so in this bag is from Deva Curl, a scarf um, from Sia Pear. Color correcting, I don't know what this is. SPF, Dr. Jart. Um, oh yeah, Sephora stands classes for confidence. That's what it was called. And it was very fun. Um, the Sephora staff was super, super nice. Uh, Lavada, vanilla, Grapefruit deodorant. Uh, drunken elephant facial oil. Drunken elephant hydration gel. Uh, first aid beauty repair cream. Drunken Elephant Sunscreen. Uh, Coloring. I have no clue what this is. Oh, sham shampooing. Aging hair. Okay. Josie Morin Argan Oil Light. Sephora Gloss Mini. 
and then Bite Beauty in Cashew. It's not that bad of a color. They were doing natural looks, and I I don't do any anything really, just a lot of natural looks. And this is from Naomi Network, handcrafted from reclaimed materials. Naomi Network provides jobs for survivors and helps end modern day slavery. So I don't know if you guys want to look into that. But I thought it was a fun class to go to. And they were talking about how they had one for um, ladies that were going back to work. And I think they said they had ones for veterans. And I think they've only done three classes for confidence but they want to do um more and like i said they were really really uh nice i i really like my sephora that is close to me because they're really nice sometimes i go into other sephoras and they kind of brush me off because excuse me i don't know about cosmetics and i I usually just use like a mascara and a titanium lip balm. I'm really low maintenance when it comes to this stuff. So uh, when we were doing the classes, um, there was a point where we were doing the um, eyeliner. And I, I was like, there is no way. And so uh, one of the gals was doing the eye under and I'm like I'm sorry I can't and she goes well I can do it above your your eye that might be a little bit easier and so she did that and she goes now try this side and I'm like I she's like do you want me to do this side too and I said yeah because I I'm so not going to do that and uh, she did it and she was really nice and um, one of the gals that was there she was a younger gal and now I follow her on Instagram and uh, it's, I, li I like Instagram, but I'm still not real sure how Instagram works. So I just try and figure out, someone messaged me and I didn't realize they messaged me for like two, three days. And I always go on my laptop to Instagram, but you can use your laptop, your computer, or your phone and with the phone you can swipe and that's how you get the messages I still so if any of you ever write me on Instagram I don't know I might see it and I might not we'll see how that goes um what else did I do I don't know I saw a new APN the last time I had an appointment, which was last Thursday, and uh, she was she was very nice because my regular APN was out of town, and this APN reminded me of Cameron Diaz, Carmen Diaz. I never know how to pronounce her name correctly because I, I hear it different ways. Um, but she was really nice, and uh, she was, I don't know why the other APN's not uh, sharing you with me. And I said, well, I'm, I'm pretty low maintenance, and uh, she goes, do you have any questions? I'm like, no, not really. She goes, now I know why he's not sharing you, because you are, you know, pretty low maintenance. I'm like, I don't know what to say. That's just how I am. And she goes, okay. She goes, well, now that I know you're here, I'm... I'm going to see you too. I'm like, all right, whatever. As long as, you know, the doctor and you two APNs talk to each other. I have no problem with that. I'm pretty easygoing when it comes to that kind of stuff. And when I do have side effects, I tell the doctors and uh, they've been helping me. Um, I got my flu shot about a week or two ago. So that was very nice. I've been... Um, Going out and doing things, uh, 
I went to Torrid, which is a clothing store, and uh, they had breast cancer awareness shirts, and I think it was like 20% of the purchase of the shirt, the 20% of the proceeds go to um, the breast cancer. I think it was the Susan G. Coleman. And uh, so I bought like three, four shirts from there and some other shirts. And I went out to dinner with one of my friends. And then um, I was talking to this, uh, this gal, Vanessa, for a year? I, yeah, a year. And um, when I went to the Sephora thing, uh, she lived, like, I want to say five, ten minutes away from it. And, uh, so after the Sephora thing, uh, she took me to, like, a brunch, lunch kind of thing. And, uh, we sat in the restaurant for a couple hours. But, uh, she was really nice. And it was just me and her and my mom. And, uh, I, I, I really like her. And it was my first time meeting her. So it was a little, you know going from having conversations online to the actual person in front of you. But uh, she seems pretty cool. I don't know what else to um, really say. This is, like I said, just an update of uh, what's going on with me and the gifts that I've gotten. And just, you know, a lot of people don't know what's out there and so I do like sharing because I, I used to do freebies and samples and I want to do those videos again but I'm just discombobulated right now I'm in between um trying to spring clean when now it's fall so my bedroom is in a messy stage and then it's in a clean stage and then a messy stage again um, and, yeah, and yesterday, yesterday I went to a essential oils presentation for edible essential oils from Living Well, Living Well Oils, and so they have their normal oils, and then they have Vitality Oils, and Vitality Oils are oils that you can consume, like, uh, lemon, lime, Sage, arugula? No, arugula. Starts with an O. Oh, I don't know. But um, I'll link down if I remember. Uh, Living Well Oils, and uh, we tried some. We tried a tea. War Warner Warber Warber. I think that's how you pronounce it. I don't remember how you pronounce it, but it was it was some kind of tea. Um, and then blueberry lemon energy bites. And those were really good. I really liked that. Um, and then there was a dill dip that we had like little grainy chips with and veggies and I picked carrots because I I love carrots um and that was good and I we went there yesterday or the day before yesterday honestly some of these days are merging together for me which is a big problem and now I'm now I'm getting that chemo brain kind of thing where I'll be talking to someone and if they interject, I'm like, I lost what I was trying to say. And it's very, very difficult because you're like, I know I had a point. And then the person's like, did you mean this? I'm like, no, that's not what I want meant. So now I have to write notes or just say, excuse me, let me say this before, before it totally escapes my mind. And uh, it's been working out pretty well, but some people... You're like, well, yeah. You interjected me when I was having a statement myself. It's very hard if you're talking to people who also have chemo brain because if you interject them, then it's it's 
it's a problem sometimes. When I went to group, um, people were telling stories and someone is like, oh, before I forget. And they were all cordial and everything, but it was quite funny because you're like, before I forget, before I forget, I need to tell you guys this. And then when the when they got finished saying what they had to say, the initial person was like, now I forgot what I